Hello everyone, this is Pontus Kalyvados from WineChronicles.com. You're catching me with a lot of bottles in front of me. They're all Saint-Emilion, all vintage 2000. Um, as some of you know, the Saint-Emilion appellation is revisited every 10 years to see if the rankings are as current as they should be. Uh, so you end up having some wines that are demoted, other wines that are promoted. Uh, it, it all ends in some nasty lawsuits, which is actually the case today. But anyway, besides that, um, it'll be fun to try these wines. Uh, some friends are bringing some other ones, like Cheval Blanc and Ozone are being brought over by friends. They bought the wines. I have some of my own wines as well, um, including Fijac and Angelus and some other wines here that are just terrific wines. Um, and some chateaus shipped some wines over specifically for this tasting. Uh, and it'll be nice to see uh, not all these wines are as expensive as Cheval Blanc, for example, so it'll be nice to see how they perform in a blind taste test, uh, and, and you can be surprised at the price-quality ratios some of these would have. So I'm just pre-tasting them to see if any of them are corked. Um, luckily, I have a p another bottle of each, just in case. Um, and then we will try them at a restaurant. The people, the staff at the restaurant will cover them up and number them. So although we know it's saint million and we know we will have some great wines like both Beau Séjours, the Beau Séjours Becco, Beau Séjours du Fou La Garose, Fijac, um, as we said, Cheval Blanc, Ozone, Angelus, and Pavi. Um, by the way, Pavi, the Pavi 2000, will actually be poured in another bottle because as you can see, it doesn't have the sh sort of normal shape of the other bottles. So that's that way we won't say, aha, that's the Pavi. So anyway, all this to say, uh, it's fun to do blind taste tests. Um, once you have a sort of common denominator, I think it's ridiculous if you have like Merlot from all over the world, I mean, you know, whatever. But it'll be fun to have saint Emilion, one vintage, the 2000 vintage, uh, tried at first in a taste test and then over dinner blind. Hey, and I'll just post the results of our tasting on winechronicles.com. And until then, well, enjoy your drinking and cheers to you.